Show me something that TikTok overhyped, but actually got it right. Baby, for me, it's this. I use it like there's no tomorrow. Hello sisters, welcome back. This video is for all my sisters with brown or gray hair who want to darken it but do not want to use a chemical dye. For reference sake, this is my before and after. Now let's get into how I prepare this hair remedy. The first ingredients you are going to be needing is fenugreek. The rich content in iron and potassium in fenugreek helps deal with premature graying of your hair. The deficit of melanin on your hair strands is what causes your hair to gray or have a brown tone to it. The minerals present in fenugreek balances this deficit, thereby producing melanin that in turn gives your hair a darker color. Here is a close-up of what the fenugreek looks like. You can take a screenshot of this page when you go to the market to tell them that this is the seeds you want. Depending on where you stay, you can also order this on Jumia or Amazon. It's just called fenugreek, fenugreek seeds or methy seeds. But for my sisters with darker hair, using fenugreek can also be helpful to you because the high potassium content of fenugreek helps the hair pigment to last longer and prevents premature graying of hair. Fenugreek seeds are also packed with amino acids that fight premature graying of the hair and are also helpful in darkening the shade of your hair. Last but not least, Fenugreek seeds are also rich in iron and protein, very essential nutrients needed in strengthening of your hair. The last ingredient we are going to be needing for this hair remedy is rosemary. I'm using dried rosemary, but you could use the fresh ones if you have access to them. Rosemary is a great complement to the fenugreek in this hair remedy due to its numerous advantages. Rosemary contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that don't just promote hair growth but also improve the overall hair health, a state you want your hair to be in if you want it to have a darker shape. Here is a close-up of what rosemary looks like. I'm sure a lot of you guys know by now because I've been using rosemary a lot on this channel. To the additional benefits of rosemary, rosemary promotes hair growth and thickness. It can also darken your hair over a period of time when used consistently. Last but not least, rosemary nourishes and strengthens your hair, reduces hair fall, prevents dandruff and scalp irritation, and helps in the overall health of your natural hair. I got my rosemary from the market. If you are not sure, you can take a screenshot of this page. You can take a screenshot of this screen right now. When you go to the market, you show it to them that this is the exact ones you want. So these are the two ingredients we are needing. Here's a close-up of what the two of them look like together. Fenugreek and rosemary. This is what we are going to be using for the hair remedy. Please note that this remedy is great for sisters who are not comfortable with using chemical hair dyes. Maybe you are allergic to store-bought hair dyes. This remedy is great for you. And as you may have noticed, it's all natural. There's no chemical. It makes it safe for use on all hair types. So I'm going to be using about one to two teaspoons of each of these. I'm not going to be using all at once. The one that I'll not use today, I'll use it for another detangling session. Now I'm just going to be taking like two to three teaspoons of fenugreek and the rosemary. Then I'm going to add a small amount of water to it. If you are enjoying this video up to now and are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe, leave me a like, it helps boost this video to other sisters who might be in urgent need of a remedy like this. Also, if you know a sister, an aunt, a mom, someone you know who has grey hair or is not comfortable with their brown hair, please help them out by sharing this video with them. They might learn a thing or two that would be very helpful to them in their hair care journey. Also know that the seeds are looking more tight now, but after soaking them for about 24 hours, they are going to be looking different. I'm going to be showing you in a second. This is how it is going to look after 24 hours of soaking them. The seeds look more swollen. That's when I know that the mix is ready to be sieved. I'm going to take my glass, take a fine net or a sock, then I'm going to sieve this mix.
as you can see i'm not making a lot i'm just making enough for about one to two weeks use that's how i like to make these remedies in smaller portions so that every time you use a fresh new batch so now that i'm done sieving it i'm going to transfer it into my applicator bottle then we are going to go on into the application process i'm going to be sharing one or two answers to a few questions i'm sure most of you might have in using the spray so this is our spray this is our remedy this is our mix for our hair my hair is having a darker shade now it wasn't like this few years ago i was literally having brown brownish red hair and that was the photo i showed you earlier in the video how my hair was like before i started using this spray so now to the first question how many times do i use it i use mine anytime i'm about to take my hair out of a protective style like what i'm doing right now i spray this in my hair strands massage it in my hair strands take out my protective style and twist it into place i wash it out after two or three days you can also use this as a leave-in and another thing i like about this is you get less shedding Okay, that's another benefit of using the spray. You do not shed plenty hair because this spray also helps strengthen your hair so that your hair does not come out from your roots easily. And this is what I'm talking about. Almost nothing when it comes to shedding hair. The next question is, can it be used on permed hair? Yes, it can be used on permed hair. As I said, this spray is made of all natural ingredients. No chemical preservatives. No, no chemical preservatives. No chemical preservatives. That makes it safe to use on both natural and permed hair. Another question I'll address is, does it smell? No, it doesn't smell. It doesn't have a pungent smell like dyes. If you've used dye before, you know it has very strong smell. This, this remedy is not like that. It doesn't have smell that irritates your nose. And that's another thing I like about this remedy. Also, this is, as I mentioned, a natural remedy. It takes time for it to work. So consistency is key. Using it on, on a more consistent base is when you begin to see results. Unlike the chemical dyes, they work at first, but they might be potentially harmful due to all the various chemicals that are in them. A more natural option takes time, but it's also worth it. The results are worth it. Also, one thing that's not commonly said about your hair normally losing its color may be because of a deficit you probably have. Deficits like zinc, vitamin D3, copper, all these deficits can translate as your hair looking a bit more brownish. Start incorporating foods that are rich in these nutrients in your diet. That way, you're able to nourish your hair from inside out as well. Foods rich in zinc include green peas, chickpeas, almonds, milk, cashew, baked beans, oat milk. All these are foods that are very good for you that you should include in your diet. That way, you are nourishing your hair from inside out. I think I've answered most of the questions, but if you have any more questions for me in relating to this remedy, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to answer all questions I find in the comments. Also leave a like, subscribe for more educational content like this. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. It's Miss Zenny. And until the next video, I'm out.